thus says the Lord Cursed be the man that trusteth a man How is that? There are people that claim to be religious They don't have an iota of trust in God They go to church when they come out of church, any problem that happens, they say, Have at least they are running to. They go to church and they might even take communion. And when they come out of that communion, any challenge that comes to them, there's an occultic man they're going to run to. And they go to church, they read the Bible, they read the prayer book, and they sing the songs. Maybe they have been baptized even in infancy or maybe in adulthood. And yet, in all their lives, they do not have a real trust in the Lord. And it says, if they are like that, I pray you'll not be like that. You know, somebody comes to a retreat, and then after the retreat, it still goes back to the shrine. It still goes back to the false prophet, because his hope is not in God. His confidence is not in God. His reliance is not in God. And he never prays. He might pray while we're here. Or if he's really pushed to the wall, he might open a prayer book. And hey, when this happens, read this one seven times. When this happens, pray this prayer 21 times. Maybe that's what he does. But he cannot speak like a child to his father. He cannot speak like a child to a father who is in heaven. He trusts in men. His mind is on men. Everything he wants to get, everything he hopes to get, he hopes to get it from man. He doesn't believe that God can directly bless his life. On the other hand, uh, when you're a child of God, on the other hand, when your hope is in God, on the other hand, when you're trusting, I am trusting men. On the other hand, when you put all your confidence, all your faith, all your trust, all your reliance, all your assurance, everything you're asking for, you're putting your trust in God. Believers have challenges, but they put their hope in Christ. Believers have difficulties, but they who put their hope in Christ, they put their trust in Christ. You cannot know your heart. If you're not born again, if Christ has not come in, you cannot know this is the real state of my heart, whether carnal or spiritual, whether fleshly, natural, or supernatural. It's only when Christ comes in, then it says he will be the one to search the heart. I pray we will not be hypocrites. I will not be a hypocrite. What I do in public, I do in private. Uh-huh, I caught you. What I am in church, I am at home. What I am in church, I am in the office. What I say, I believe publicly. I believe privately. Where I stand, I always stand. You will not be a hypocrite. Matthew chapter 20.